Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Billy. Today I would like to share with you four shift dresses that I've made using the new look uh, pattern 6000. I previously talked about this pattern in my video number four and for that one is actually they were uh, sheath dresses just because they're much more fitted but for this one I decided to try this pattern uh, which is view E here uh, this one here um, view E originally has two chest stars and two uh, north south stars in the front and two north south stars in the back but for this one, I decided to try them without the north-south stars. So only two uh, side chest stars in the front and that's it. The reason I wanted to try this modification is because I have been an admirer of the uh, Yves Saint Laurent's um, Mondrian dress and I wanted to try a pattern uh, that would enable me to make that dress. The first one I will show you is, is what I'm wearing right now. Um, this one is made uh, with an organic uh, cotton fabric actually and the pattern is a bit of a kind of sunny side of eggs. And so overall it's a very cheerful design and um, the cotton is incredibly soft um, so, so I really like the fabric. But for this one the mistake I made was because I was trying to make it a bit more shift dress and more loose fitting. So what I did was instead of a 5 8 of an inch or 1.5 centimeter seam allowance, I just reduced the overall seam allowance to 1 centimeter. And as a result, obviously it fits more loosely now, but then the problem is actually, uh, I'm staying closer to the camera. So you can see actually now there is excess fabric here. Um, a lot, it's almost like a raglan sleep line here. And so it's just too much. And so I did not feel like going back and change it uh, because the, the pattern is relatively busy. So it's not too obvious. And also, uh, as you can see, if I just put my hair you know, to the front, then you really cannot see it all. So it's a bit of a lazy person's way out. So here's a quick video of this dress. And I paired it with a black belt and black Mary Jane pumps, and I thought it looked quite pretty. And I have received many compliments on this dress because of the happy print. Um, so, so overall it was a, uh, a success and I would wear it uh, regularly. And also this dress is not lined and so I did wear this dress with the silk slit that I made before also using the same uh, pattern, also the 6000 pattern uh, talked about in also in my video number 4 uh, which I will link uh, in the description box below. So the second one uh, that I will show you because of this gap, this excess fabric at the shoulder. So then for this one, I decided to try fixing it. So what I did was I took in, just make the, uh, the neck area a bit deeper. Uh, so, so a bit closer to the center of the bottoms and that apparently fix it. And so this is what happened. So this one is a cotton fabric. And uh, what I really like about this was the uh, the border print that I that I have um, on the bottom. Uh, and so this is 100% cotton fabric and uh, also not lined. And I also wore it with a uh, silk slip that I made. And so um, overall, I'm very happy with it. So here is a quick video of this dress. And uh, I really liked it and it looks great. And as we are now coming to the end of summer in New York City, I try to wear these dresses uh, as much as I can before I have to put them away for the fall and the winter. So, so that's the second dress. The third dress that I will show you is um, is this dress here so identical um, I tend to sew these things in, in a way in bulk I cut them at the same time and I sew them at the same time so in a way that really helped me to become very efficient uh, in making these garments so the third one is this one it's a cotton fabric also but uh, and I really like it because it really gives you a 60s vibe and uh, this one, the fabric itself is actually from an IKEA 
duvet cover and uh, I use the fabric uh, for a different project for my sofa at home and I had some leftover so I decided to use it to cut out um, for this dress and so here is a video of this dress and so now with the sort of the more cut in uh, arm side it really fits very well and so overall I'm very happy with this dress and it looks very it's a bit 60s but not too 60s and so still look modern and it's just overall very happy print uh, so I'm very happy with this dress and how this turns out um, so I I would I always really um, feel very happy when I wore this dress and I think that's really one of the good things about learning to sew for oneself so the last dress that I will show you is uh, the same thing that I made um, using this cotton camouflage uh, fabric. And so identical, uh, also same thing. And uh, for, for all these dresses, they are none of them is lined, but I did line the, uh, the sleeves because uh, lining the sleeves gives me a really clean finish on the outside because there is no visible stitching whatsoever. So I thought that would give it a very polished uh, look. And so here is a quick video of this dress. And uh, I also paired it with a simple uh, black belt and a pair of black pumps. And overall it looked nice, but somehow this camouflage dress did not give me the um, the effect that I was hoping for. I cannot say I'm disappointed, but it's just different from what I thought it would look like, even though I wasn't sure exactly what I was expecting. But overall, I'm quite happy with it. And I do think I would I am now ready to tackle the Mondrian dress. Uh, however, because it's already uh, fall now in your city, so I probably will not make that dress until next year as I will now focus on making things for the coming fall and the winter time. And I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope I will see you soon. Bye bye!